Think of all the things that are made in this world. Everything that has been dreamed by human minds and built by human hands. Everything that is manufactured in this world. Things to make our lives easier. Things to make our lives more enjoyable. Things to save our lives. Nearly everything on earth that isn't alive has been manufactured through human endeavor. And in all of history, no nation has proven more productive in making the things that mankind requires than the United States of America. From the very beginning, it has been American industry and American enterprise that led all modern production and created the most powerful and efficient economy the world has ever seen. Throughout the course of the 20th century, it was the great manufacturing corporations that invented the products that would change the way we live and the ingenious manufacturing processes that made those products available to everyone. That manufacturing prowess put the world on wheels and literally reshaped the geopolitical landscape. Manufacturing invented the middle class in the five-day work week. It led to the development of suburbs, towns, and cities that became the envy of the world. In time, it was American manufacturing that led to the arsenal of democracy that stopped tyranny half a world away. And it was American manufacturing that drove the development of the goods necessary to increase the standard of living for every man, woman, and child throughout the globe. Well, manufacturing is the foundation uh, of, of all countries uh, and has been over time because nearly 70% of all the research and development, all the enabling technology, the innovation associated uh, with our lives uh, starts uh, with manufacturing. It's the engineering, it's the, it's the manufacturing itself, but especially it's the technology and the innovation that contribute to the things that are really important uh, to all of us. Well, I think having a strong manufacturing base in the country really is, is vitally important to having a strong middle class. Again, those, those jobs where people live a, a nice lifestyle, they're doing something that they take great pride in, and they're able to support and raise a family, get the kids through college, and maybe come and join them. We have really learned to take manufacturing for granted. We don't understand it. We don't realize how important it is, how high-tech and how cool it is today. And we are certainly not aware of the amazing career opportunities that exist in manufacturing. Our country was built on manufacturing. Our country was built on a practical skill set. And we have left a lot of the practical skill sets, we've left them off the table. Manufacturing is, uh, is a profession that truly, truly adds value to the economic piece of our world. We take raw materials and we turn it into a finished product. You can't do that any other way than come out here on the manufacturing floor and make it. But today, that system of manufacturing is facing a crisis that has deep ramifications for America's future economic stability and national security. For years, the story of outsourcing dominated industrial headlines and gave rise to a host of competitive manufacturing nations, many with aims hostile to the intentions of the United States. But today, it is a deeper, more subtle development that poses the real threat to the long-term viability of the American economy, national security, and our very identity as an innovative, productive people that has always formed the core of the American character. As a culture, we are losing the fundamental idea that manufacturing is good, that manufacturing careers are important, that great opportunities exist for all Americans who are willing to roll up their sleeves and make something. Some estimates suggest that at this very moment, there are 600,000 well-paying, important positions in manufacturing that remain unfilled throughout the country because the workforce to fill those jobs simply doesn't exist. With the continued exodus of baby boomers from the workforce and the lack of interest amongst younger generations, conservative estimates claim that number could grow to as many as two million unfilled jobs in the next few years. You often hear, and I've heard this from uh, political leaders, well, really manufacturing isn't that important. Uh, we're going to be more of a service type economy. That's a problem. 
Just consider it from the economic multiplier standpoint. That economic multiplier for an auto job, uh, for every job in an auto manufacturer, nine other jobs in the economy, think about that really cool, that many people aspire to job on Wall Street. That has an economic multiplier of about two. And what it tells you is that if we're just a service economy, we become a second class economy in an extraordinarily competitive world. I'm very concerned about it. I think, you know, we are quickly approaching a war on talent, and I will say it's a war on technical talent. For every job General Motors provides, there's nine other jobs in the communities that we uh, live and work that are attached and associated and really exist because of the work that we do. And it's everything. When you look at everything around you, someone had to manufacture it. So I think you know people need to step back and take a different look at manufacturing and the whole value chain because if there's no one here to manufacture it, it will, the products won't be here. So it's vitally important that people take a, a broader look and realize what you know fabulous careers you can have manufacturing things. The problem is everybody's got these memories or they think they have memories or certainly perceptions of old manufacturing. Dirty, dangerous, gritty, getting laid off all the time. It's all very negative. Very few people have a positive perception of manufacturing unless it's super high tech kind of stuff. So what we really need to do is show people, average everyday people, how important manufacturing is to even their well-being. To address this looming workforce crisis, a new organization called Building America's Tomorrow has arisen with the singular goal of developing a grand coalition to help answer the key challenges to workforce development. Building America's Tomorrow is a nationally recognized 501c3 nonprofit organization headquartered in Michigan and established to build a nationwide coalition of industry leaders, government officials, educators, school administrators, and a broad spectrum of business and manufacturing organizations to refocus America on the vital importance of maintaining a dynamic, ever-expanding manufacturing capability to our national success and security in the 21st century. Building America's Tomorrow has embarked upon an ambitious plan to work throughout the country to bring schools, parents, corporations, and nonprofit organizations together and encourage them to join hands to penetrate mainstream American culture with the message to inspire and the tools to prepare the next generation workforce. The overall program will focus on adding scale to great existing efforts and filling in the gaps where no programs exist. This plan includes strategic production of new film, television, video, and online resources designed to change the prevailing perceptions about manufacturing and manufacturing careers. And within the educational community, the program will involve identifying and bringing together great STEM-related educational initiatives, enhancing their manufacturing focus, and getting these programs into new schools and districts across the country. And it starts with us having the will and also appreciating the importance of design and manufacturing and entrepreneurship, how important that is to the sustainability uh, of the United States of America. What Building America's Tomorrow is all about is making sure that here in America, we maintain the preeminent position of manufacturing. We have the young people being developed and trained to be a part of manufacturing. And it's not just the shop floor. It's in the engineering offices, it's in the test laboratories, it's in sales and marketing, it's in finance. Uh, the host of careers that are related to manufacturing are really amazing. It's one of the things that we have to do is make this a national effort, to uh, turn the country on to the idea that manufacturing is important, it's really cool, really high tech, and you're gonna have a great career if you prepare yourself uh, with the right education and the right skill set to be a part of that future. And frankly, because of, uh, of, of the competitiveness in the world today, what we are not doing that we should be doing, we are at risk. We have work to do. In these early years of the 21st century, America is at a turning point. We have before us an opportunity to rebuild the manufacturing machine that on the broad scale has led to the most powerful nation the world has ever known and on the individual scale, today offers the most exciting, diverse, profitable, and important careers of almost any endeavor known to man. 
if we fail as a nation to meet this workforce development crisis with bold and dramatic initiative, we simply will not have the next generation manufacturing workforce in place. And as a nation, we will likely face serious consequences for our economy, our security, and our national well-being long into the future. But if we are able to rise to the challenge today, inspiring future workers and giving them the tools to succeed in the most vibrant and exciting industry the world has ever seen, together we will have proven instrumental in building America's tomorrow.